Hi, I'm Trevor Finchamp. I'm an outdoor enthusiast who has summited some of the tallest mountains in the world. And I've spent my fair share of nights outdoors in emergency situations. Today, I'm here on behalf of Sergeant Knotts to teach you a few crucial techniques using paracord, something that I recommend everyone have with them on any excursion. When you find yourself in a survival situation, you have three primary needs, shelter, water, and food. You can survive three weeks without food, three days without water, and three hours without shelter in adverse conditions. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to address your most urgent need by showing you how to build an A-frame style shelter using only paracord and the natural resources around you. Start by finding and clearing an area to build your shelter. For the A-frame style build that we'll teach you today, you'll want to pick somewhere that's relatively flat and dry. Begin gathering large branches for your frame. You'll want at least seven to nine branches, each about seven or eight feet long. Make sure at least five of the branches are thick enough to support the weight of your shelter. To start building the frame, you'll lash together two branches in the shape of an A. Start this knot with a timber hitch around both poles. Wrap around the two poles a few times, then do the same around the other axis. Tighten the lashing by surrounding it with a few frapping turns and finish with a clove hitch. Repeat this process with two branches for the other side. Next, stand both up and lay your largest branch across the top. Lash it to the A-frames on both ends by repeating a similar lashing to the one you just did, ensuring to wrap around each leg and over the crossbeam tightly. Your structure will grow more stable as you go, but if you dig out holes for each leg, it may help you keep things steady while you work, especially if you're building alone. Grab another branch and lash it to your frame horizontally, about midway down. Start with a clove hitch around one pole. Twist the short end around the long end and wrap the rope around both poles, alternately going over and under each pole about three or four times. Then tighten it with three or four frapping turns and finish with a few tight half hitches. Do the same on the other side. If you'd like to add more stability and have the resources, you can add another beam across each side. If you have a limited amount of paracord, you can cut it open and use an individual strand for each one of these knots. Now it's time to fill in your frame. Start by gathering whatever foliage is around you. You'll want branches with lots of leaves or needles. These will help insulate the structure. Weave the branches through the sides of your frame. Don't slack off at this stage. The more layers you add, the better it will be at keeping out moisture and wind, not to mention the body heat you'll keep trapped inside. Lay down the most comfortable bedding you can find and hunker down. If you're in a cold climate, you can add branches in front of your doors and build your shelter lower to the ground to help trap in more body heat. You can check out our collection of paracord at sergeantknots.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch the rest of this series, as well as our other rope-related tutorials.